The Tamron 24 to 70 2.8 G2 lens is probably one of my favorite lens, and I say that about a lot of lens, but for my Canon EOS R, I purchased this probably about two, three weeks ago, and it has not come off my camera for almost anything. I, I, I use this for everything, and we're going to get into that coming up. Welcome to Free Will Photos, where we focus on helping new photographers learn how to use photo editing software and the gear that helps them get to the end result of their creative vision. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Then I need you to check the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we get new videos up on the net. Let's get into it. Tamron's 24 to 70 SP G2 VC DI USD, all that stuff. Look, this is a phenomenal lens, all right? This lens right here, I put this on everything. <laughs> no, uh, no pun intended. Look, I use this lens with my Canon EOS R, uh, which is sitting right here. And this is by far my most favorite lens. If I could get it back on here. There we go. Boom. This is my favorite lens to use whenever I'm out and about running gun shooting, but also when I'm in the studio and I'm working with my kids, this lens, it just gives me so much versatility and it gives me options. It's extremely sharp. I get to the 2.8 aperture uh, if I absolutely need it. I'm usually sitting around 5.6 on this because that's where I think I get the best mileage and then uh yeah this lens is just amazing it's great for products it's great for people it's great for uh, street photography because it does give you a wide enough angle at that 24 millimeter and then you can also zoom in if you want to get some tighter more detailed shots this lens is it, there's a reason why it's in that that uh, trinity of the lens to get from the 15 to 24 or whatever. I don't shoot that wide. And then the 24 to 70 and then the 70 to 200. All at the 2.8 aperture. This is a consistent aperture. So I get 70 millimeters at 2.8. I get 24 millimeters at 2.8 and all the focal length in between. This lens is, uh, it, it, it is heavy. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I have to put the camera down and focus more on what I want to compose and then pick it back up, snap the picture, and then set it back down. But it is a great tool for getting the job done. In fact, it's probably uh, the best tool. There's a reason why it's renowned to be one of the more product photography driven lens, especially for lifestyle between the 50 millimeter lens and the 24 to 70 and then maybe a hundred millimeter macro but macro lens you're going to be so tight it, it just doesn't work look the 24 to 70 lens is great now this lens is far less expensive than the canon version of the 24 to 70 and i've watched a lot of reviews on youtube as i'm sure many of you have and i've even tested out the canon and the nikon 24 to 70 lens uh I enjoy the results more out of the Tamron version, and I'm not sponsored by Tamron, so no one's paying me to say this. These are just my personal opinions, so that that way everyone knows. Uh, with that being said, I do have an affiliate link to Amazon. If you want to go pick up this lens, you can go pick it up off of Amazon. It helps out the channel so we can continue to grow and move forward. But look, the, the 24 to 70 Tamron lens is almost a no-brainer. If you're doing video, this is a great lens for video. If you're just doing stills like what I do, I don't do a whole lot of video, uh, you can capture so much with this from landscape to product photography to portrait photography to street photography to whatever you want. Uh, and you know, by that, by that note, you can capture any type of photography with any type of lens, but this particular lens is so good at what it does that 
and you're having that 2.8 consistent ap- aperture, I don't know of any other lens on the market that'll give you this bang for your buck outside of spending thousands upon thousands. Uh, I think I paid just under $1,200 for this lens. So yes, a little pricey, definitely not a uh, consumer. I mean, I guess it is kind of a consumer level price considering there's lens on the professional end for multiple thousands. But nonetheless, this lens, you know, save up your pennies, your coins, your change, save it up and then go purchase a, a lens that is going to give you the creative vision that you were looking for. I said this in my in one of my previous videos that my 50 millimeter and the 35 millimeter they really helped me develop my creative vision when I was using those lens. With this 24 to 70, I feel like I'm right in the wheelhouse of each of those lens, but I only have one with me. So I don't have to worry about changing and, you know, I switched from Nikon to Canon a little bit. I still use my Nikon gear, but because I went all in with the EOS R mirrorless system, I wanted to make sure that I started to use that more frequently. So using the converter to go to, to the EF uh, mounts and stuff like that. Not very important. The Tamron 24 to 70 is the topic today and it's great. You've heard my thoughts on on the Tamron 24 to 70. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Are you using the Tamron 24 to 70 in any of your work? And if so, what are you guys' results looking like? Uh, are they really, really sharp and crisp? Are they not? Or are you looking to get a 24 to 70 and you're just trying to figure out should you go with the Nikon version, the Canon version, or the Tamron version? Uh, now, if you're a Nikon shooter, I know that I said I use this on the Canon. EOS R, but you can get the Tamron, uh, I'm sorry, not the Tamron version, get the Tamron 24 to 70 for the Nikon F mount, and you can do the F to Z or Z to F converter, whatever the thing is over on Nikon side, and put that onto a Z6, or just go straight to a F mount camera DSLR, and you'll be in the game. Look, again, I'm not sponsored or affiliated in any way with Tamron. I just really, really love using this 24 to 70 uh, Tamron 2.8 lens. That concludes the video for today. If you found this video helpful, I just need you to hit the like button because that helps me know that this content is helpful. If you didn't, hit the dislike button and I just know that this is not helpful content. But if you are new here and you just want to stay in the community of Free Will Photos, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and then check the bell icon so you'll be notified when we drop new videos. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating.